joining me. Um, today I have a crazy huge Dollar Tree haul. Um, <laughs> I, this is actually from two hauls from last week and from this week. Um, I've been trying really super hard not to go to Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to be honest, last week I really struggled because I am not the most organized person. So when I do my grocery shopping, I don't really check to see what I need or what I have. And I don't make a list. So I kind of was going back and forth to the store all week. Like, oh, I forgot something. Let me go back. Um, and I did not want to do that this week. I really wanted to make an effort to stay home as much as possible. So this week I just wrote everything down. Anytime I could think like if I'd watch a haul, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to grab this. So I got to write it on my list. So I felt like this trip to Dollar Tree was a lot more like organized <laughs> compared to how I usually am. Uh, so that's just, you know, like my tips. Um, if you guys are struggling like I am, uh, maybe just, you know, make a list and if you see a good haul, you know, write things down and just kind of save it all for one big trip. You know, it helped me out. So let's get into the haul. So I'm going to get into the grocery stuff first because I want to put away the cold items. Uh, I got these Lunchables. I got two of them. My husband already ate one. I got the ham and cheddar. And I also got these Eat um, like TV dinners. I got the beef and broccoli and then two of the chicken fajita bowl and we've tried these before it's the um, white cheddar macaroni with bacon I got two of them I picked up a six count of the soft pretzels we grabbed some frozen veggies we got three of the um, winter blend we got three bags of that and two bags of the broccoli cut I saw a video um, from Thrifty Diva, uh, Theoni over at Thrifty Divas, uh, where she made some um, Polish sausage with uh, sauerkraut and potatoes. And I really wanted to try that recipe. So I got three of the John Morrell sausages. And my husband picked up two of these XXL uh, beef and bean burritos. He got two of those for himself. And I heard that this cheese was pretty good, um, that it actually melts. Um, and it's this, um, was it Lakeview pepper jack cheese? Um, I found another pack of these. I've been on the hunt for these because my husband loved them. And it's an eight pack of these uh, birthday cake teddy bear cookies. Um, I grabbed these for myself. I really like these like golden uh, sponges. Um, I like them better than Twinkies. And I like these ones better than um, the chocolate ones. These ones are my favorite. I also grabbed some granola bites just so I can have kind of a somewhat healthy snack uh, on hand, maybe for the morning time. Uh, my husband grabs these sour punch bites. He really likes sour candy. And he already kind of got into these and it's the tahine uh, corn nuts. And he opened these up and didn't even really like them. He didn't really care for them, but um, I'm still gonna eat them. Uh, and then I did get a couple of drinks, uh, like drink mixes. Um, I got this cappuccino mix. It comes, it makes five cups and it's in the flavor mocha. And then I've been seeing a lot of you guys posting videos on Instagram um, of those like, I don't know what it's called. It's like when you whip up the coffee and it gets like all thick and like frothy. Um, so I looked up a video and you need uh, instant coffee, which I don't have. So I picked up this, um, this like, I don't know, I think it comes with like six, yeah, six packets in it. Uh, so I can make one of those coffees myself. They look super good. Um, as another little snack to keep on hand, I got this uh, jar of kosher dill pickles. I absolutely love pickles, especially like the smaller ones like these. Uh, so I had to grab me some of these. I got uh, a pack of these pepperonis and a jar of pizza sauce because I wanna make uh, English muffin pizzas, maybe for lunch one of these days. Um, so I wanted to keep this on hand. And I got two cans of the whole white potatoes uh, to go with the sausages and the sauerkraut. And I always pick these up when I see them at Dollar Tree and it's the medium uh, black olives. We put these in salads and I just like to snack on them. Uh, and I've never seen them at a grocery store for less than a dollar. They're always like a dollar thirty or a dollar fifty, so I always grab them at Dollar Tree when I see them. And I got some seasonings as well. We were running out of black pepper, and like honestly, I hate buying pepper at the store because it's expensive. 
it's like two or three bucks and to me that's expensive for some seasoning so i got it um i got like a little can of it from dollar tree i found three name brand seasonings that i hadn't seen before this is by kingsford and it's garlic and herbs i think it's yeah rustic uh, rustic tuscan style these two i was super excited to find uh this one is the seafood seasoning from red lobster and then this one's the grill seasoning from Longhorn. That is so cool. I didn't even know they made seasonings. So I'm very excited to try both of these out. And I got some pretzels. I got the broads, the Snyder's broads, um, just so I can, I'm gonna try to make um, like the, the candy melt and the pretzels. I wanted to make that for Easter. So I grabbed a bag of these. Um, these aren't mine, but my mom picked, the, picked these up and she got two of the uh, liters of Diet Pepsi. And then we found more Monster Energy drinks at our Dollar Tree. Um, we got the Monster Max. Oh, and we got, there's two of them actually. This one's in Solaris and Eclipse. Both of them are the Monster Max. I don't know, brand or type. So we got um, three of each in each flavor. And we did want to stock up on treats for the babies. So I got them two bags of the canine carryouts. This one is the beef and cheese and this one's the sausage link. That's about it for the food. Um, but then I got some extra stuff as well. Um, I, these I saw in somebody's video, they hauled these candles and I thought they were really pretty. I liked the shape um, of the jar. This one's the eucalyptus citrus mint. And I also got it in amethyst. It's kind of like a purple glass. And I also got the pink mahogany. And this one's probably my favorite scent. I'm kind of keeping with the candles. I did pick up three more candles last weekend when we went grocery shopping at Dollar Tree. Um, this is the rose collection. I got the honey blossom and amber and violet. And I also got iris. And I just think these look so elegant. Um, they would make really good gifts, especially for Mother's Day coming up. Another good thing that I think would be a really good gift for Mother's Day um, are these little signs. Um, I, I've been looking for these <laughs> and I was lucky enough to find these last weekend. Um, I, like the, I like that they look like little Scrabble titles. That's what they remind me of. Uh, I got the one that says it's the little things in life and our nest is best. I got this little display easel um, because my niece actually made this for uh, my mom for Christmas and uh, we wanted to kind of display it in the uh, our hutch. So I thought this would look really cute uh, to stand it up. I did pick up one of the mini boos. <laughs> this is series two. Um, it's one of the little mystery boxes and I was just really curious um, to see what this was. At first I thought it was like a little mini like plushie that came inside, uh, but I think it's like a figurine, which is okay. Uh, I'm just curious to see what it looks like. Let's see here. Looks like it's an owl. Oh, this is really cute. And I just think this is a really nice quality. I actually might pick up some more. I did get a couple crafting things um, just because while I'm home, <laughs> the quarantine, um, I want to try to keep busy. So I got these stickers to do maybe like a pocket letter. I really love the roses. You guys know I love roses. Uh, and I thought these were just absolutely gorgeous. And I picked up an extra bag of hot glue sticks. I was running out of mine. So I found this book and I think it's so beautiful. I don't know if I'm gonna read it, <laughs> but I think it'll look gorgeous on my bookshelf. Uh, and it's called Dear Jane and it's Wise Counsel from Ms. Austin and Friends. And I just love the, the mint color and like the gold right here. It, this is just a gorgeous book just to even sit on the shelf as a decor piece. Uh, my mom picked this out for springtime. Um, she wanted to hang these up in our hutch and it's this LED string light um, with all these little dragonflies. I thought that would be really cute. And I found this avocado luggage tag with a little heart for a pit. Um, I'm not gonna be traveling anywhere anytime soon, but maybe I'll just hang this from my purse. I did pick up a pack of blank note cards, um, just so that way if I send some friend mail, um, I can throw in a card um, as well. I picked up some makeup items. I was lucky enough to find some hard candy makeup. Um, I got this 
uh, bold and gorgeous high drama innovative felt tip liner and it looks like it's the top of the liner is like a little bit like I don't know oddly shaped um, but I really liked the other uh, brown eyeliner I got from Hard Candy so I'm definitely excited to try this one and I also found from Hard Candy uh, the matte made in heaven uh, matte blush and bronzer duo so it comes with a, a bronzer and a blush, a brush and a little mirror. Um, I love matte bronzers and matte blushes because I wear a lot of highlights, so I don't like to do too much shimmer. Um, so I'm very, very excited to try these out. And I actually got uh, three of each. So I got three of these and I also got three of the eyeliners um, because I'm thinking about sending a like two of these um, to some friends and friend mail. And I was lucky enough to find some Maybelline. Um, I got this eyeliner in Starlight Gold. I used to love to put like gold eyeshadow like under my eyes um, just to kind of make my eyes look more open and like awake. I grabbed one of these um, Repairing Honey hair masks from Freeman. Uh, my hair's been really dry, so hopefully this will help because I can't go get a haircut right now. Um, I got two of these um, Hydrolonic Bubble Face Masks because I'm hoping my hubby will want to try these out with me. These were on my wish list. I got two of the Bodycology um, Cleansing Shower Jellies. I got the Coconut Hibiscus and the Cherry Blossom. Um, I didn't find any of like the bubble bars, uh, but I was just super happy to find these. This is a really good brand and I know these are going to work amazing. If you watched my last Bolero skincare review, um, you know that I tried the jelly facial cleanser in the aloe and rose water. Um, I'll link that video down below, um, but I don't want to run out of it. So I did buy a second one, but I want to try the lychee and watermelon. This worked really, really good. And they had a bunch of other new stuff from Bolero, which I was so excited about. Even though I just got done trying a whole bunch of other products, I had to grab some of these. I got all of my stuff in the Jasmine and Orange Blossom just because I haven't seen that scent before. Oh, this smells really pretty. I wish you guys could smell this. <laughs> Uh, but I'm very excited to try this because I love uh, the body wash that says it's two times concentrated because that is definitely something that I look for. Um, I got this next thing because you really can't have enough of this on hand and it is a uh, hand wash in the same jasmine and orange blossom. You get 10 ounces and it says it's for all skin types. Um, so I just wanted to hold on to this whenever we run out. Uh, we'll have an extra one on hand. I also got these shower steamers even though I haven't had any luck with any of the shower steamers from Dollar Tree, I'm just gonna try these, um, give it another go. They look like they're a different shape uh, than the ones that I've tried before. These ones look like they're almost shaped like, I don't know, like macarons. Um, but yeah, I think these might be good, who knows? You can even smell it through the packaging. Uh, so I'll give these a go and see how they work. I'm really excited to find this. It's I've never seen anything like this from Bolero and it's Body Illuminizer Shimmering Body Cream. And it comes with three fluid ounces. I also got this whipped facial cream. I've never tried facial cream from Bolero, but I use, um, I use facial cream every single day. So hopefully um, this works really well and I don't break out. And then lastly, I did pick up an eye cream uh, just because I know that I love um, the eye creams from Bolero. So I thought I'd try this one as well. The packaging on this new stuff from Bolero is just so gorgeous. I think this would be perfect for Mother's Day. Um, just want to make like a little gift basket. Um, these would look absolutely stunning. I got a little bit of Easter things. Um, we got these coloring cups. Uh, it comes with like the little um, pellet things that you need to uh, dye the eggs. Um, and then all the little cups, which is nice. So I don't have to dirty all kinds of glasses. Um, and I also grabbed a pack of these just because everybody's been hauling them and I didn't really want to try them, but since everybody's getting it, um, I might, I guess I'm going to try it too. Um, I found this bag. Um, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it because I usually like taking bags like this on vacation, um, but this is a really nice like beach bag or if you're going to like park. Um, if you're gonna go to a cookout, this would be good to like to carry stuff in. 
and I thought the watermelon was really cute and I feel like this bag's like pretty water resistant so if you spill something on it um I think it'll be okay it doesn't have a zipper or anything uh but again this is just a really nice bag for a dollar my mom picked up one of these little rugs um, just so we can wipe our feet off. Um, our feet get a little muddy sometimes when we're walking the dogs uh, and we still have our Christmas one out <laughs> uh, just because I didn't have a regular one to put out for you know just throughout the year. So she grabbed one of these and I got this mug. Um, I seen it in somebody else's haul and I really um, was hoping to find it and I did and it says good morning beautiful and it has little eyelashes on it. Um, I was hoping to oh look it has it on both sides. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I was hoping to take this to work with me because um, I leave a mug there uh, to make coffee in the morning because that's usually where I drink coffee at. Um, I'm not going to be going back to work anytime soon. <laughs> so, uh, but when I do go back, I will be bringing this with me uh, so I can use it in the morning. The last couple things are all like essential items as well. Um, I was lucky enough to find some aloe vera gel uh, because I... I've got about three mini bottles of hand sanitizer left and uh, I'm hoping to make my own um, hand sanitizer with this aloe vera gel. Uh, I cannot find any rubbing alcohol. I've been looking for it everywhere and nobody has it. Um, so I'm still on the hunt for that, but hopefully my three little bottles will last me until I can make more. And I bought two packs of these latex gloves. They come with 10. And my mom also bought two as well. Um, we want to start wearing gloves when we go to the store. So that was everything in my haul. I know that was a lot of stuff, but be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.